All righty, everyone. Things you'll need today real quick. Make sure you have something to slide on, all right? Um, and then the weights that you've been using. With that, we're going to be doing a lot of, we have our cardio core today, and I have made it an aggressive, aggressive finisher for you guys. There is a little impact today. You all know the rules. If something's bothering you in the knees, don't worry about it. If you have neighbors that you hate downstairs, stomp all the way around. All right. Um, Josh should have sent you the link um, with the new playlist. If you didn't get it, I'll have music on in the background. You guys are all muted, so you can play whatever it is you all want. Make sure you guys can hear me. If there is an issue, you have the chat function right there. Shoot me a quick message my, um, or text me. Sometimes the Wi-Fi goes in and out. They're doing work here. No big deal. So everyone get obnoxiously close to your camera. Show me your pores. Very, very good. Give me a thumbs up. You all ready to work out? Boom. I'm joined with Sup Boss Corey in the background today. His pasty white skin just reflects off the light. It's wonderful. Let's get started. I'm going to switch up the music. We're going to go through our warm-up today, everybody. Make sure our body is ready to go. I'm going to ask for jumping jacks in six, team in five. We have jumping jacks in four, light in the toes. Three, two, one, and begin. Hands cross all the way at the top. It's your push and pull day. Wonderful. Keep that drive light and pace. Hold it. Hold it. Excellent. Maintain. All my call, we're going to drop to squats. It is just going to be a normal squat, regular pace. Five, four, drop the squats. Three, two, one, hold, drop the squats. You're looking good. You're looking strong. Maintain it here. Oops. I love what I see. Yes, Corey, keep his shoulder blades back. All engaged. Now, in about 15 seconds, we're going to add a cross body move to it. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Getting a crunch across the midline. You get seven. You get six. It's five. It's four. Three, two, one. Squat, crunch, back down. Crunch, back down. You keep it. Looking good, team. Now, don't worry about just driving it. I want to see the big move. There you go. Keep that pace. Keep that drive. Team, we're going to take a reverse lunge. Big step back. Reach. Find your fingertips. You get five. You get four. Three, two, one. Step back. Reverse lunge. Reach and stand. There it is. You got it. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning. Keep this pace. Team, in about 15 seconds, we're going to go into a front lunge, thoracic twist. Come right back across that midline. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it forward and twist it down. Nice. Now, Corey's going across directly. That's fine, too. Whatever best serves your body is going to best serve this workout. There it is. Good morning. Yes. Danny Gilbert. I love having you in class. It's amazing. Wonderful. We're going to stand up tall, diving forward, intros. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach up. Push the hips back, dive down, walk it out. Now, as you pass through your down dog, I want you to actively drive your heels down to the ground. There it is. Corey's got those nice limber hamstrings. Good, reaching up. Corey's adding a good morning in there. Awesome. Bop, bop. Yes, we're waking up the body. Team. In 10 seconds, we hold your plank. Seven, six, five, it's four. We hold the plank. Three, two, hold your plank. Take your right foot, step it to the outside of your right hand. Twist it open to the bent knee. Boom. He's getting a nice twist. Give it a pause. Down and switch sides at your pace. Alternate whatever you need to at whatever speed you need to. If you want to step or hop, you go for it. Nice. 
opening them hips up. Very good. Nice faces. I love it. What we're going to do next, hit some mountain climbers. You get five, you get four. Mountain climbers, three, two, one. Mountain climbers. 30 seconds worth. Excellent. Team in 15, we're going to bring it up. I'm going to need hamstring high kicks. Opposite hand, opposite foot. You get six, you get five, it's up tall. Four, three, two, one. Up tall, big reach, big reach. Ha. Fabulous. Nice, strong, powerful warm up. Keep it here. Way to bring that heart rate up in about 15 seconds. We're going to go into our butt kickers. We're doing a hamstring extension. Now we're doing a hamstring contraction. Five, four, it's butt kickers. Three, two, one, butt kickers. Go, you got it. Bop, 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 bop. Use the arms, pump them, pump them. On my collar, hands are going way up tall. You get six, you get five. It's four, three, two up tall, hands, high knees. We sit to, to our high knees. There you go. Now I'm going to ask everyone to lock out their arms if they can. There it is, Tanny. We're going to bring it down. Fast feet. Three, two. Fast feet go. Fast feet go. We have hustles, everybody. When I say right, it's right. When I say left, it's left. You always come back to center. Right. Left. Right. Left. Fast feet, fast feet. Team, when I say up, it's up. When I say down, you tap the ground. Up. Down. Up. Down. Fast feet, fast feet. Combinations, everybody. Right, left. Left, right. Up, down. Down, up. Fast feet for five. Fast feet for four. Three, two, one. And recover, everyone. How you feeling back there, Corey? Nice. All right, everybody, how this workout's going to go, I'm asking for three exercises. You do 14 of each exercise. Then you're going to give me, you're going to be 12 of each exercise, 10 of each exercise, going down the ladder to two. Once you hit two, you go right back up the ladder. Each round is about six minutes. So go through. If you only make it down to six, you only make it down to six. No big deal. Your first move is going to be a squat. Dumbbell squat with an upright row. Corey's going to stand up tall. Weight can either be at the side or in the middle. So here, what he's driving through is heels pulling all the way up. We're not combining the motion. He doesn't squat back down until his hands reach full extension. Shoulder blades back. You're driving your hips out. Next move, chest press. Here, he's going to go into his chest press with a leg lift. Notice how his feet and the arms are up at the same time. He lowers, lowers, making sure elbows never touch the ground. As he lifts, he lifts from the core and the chest. If you don't have dumbbells, find something you can do an incline push-up on. Then finally, everybody, body over rows. Now, please pay attention to this one. I'm going to show you for the side and the front. He's going to row in with his right. So just your right, Corey. Now we're going to have a rotation in there. Notice he twists open to the ceiling, comes back down, boom. He's rotating with the weight attached up to his chest. Careful though, here, I don't wanna see arm out and then detach. It's twisting from the hip. Think of a rotated side angle in yoga. That's what we're gonna go at. Each one, 14, 12, 10, eight, six, four, two. They're gonna be on each side. We're going to get ready to go. Six minutes is going to start. I need dumbbell, uh, dumbbell squats with a high pull. Shoulder blades back, push through the outside of the heels. You get six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go, everybody. He squats, he high pulls. Now, let's create momentum. 
similar to a thruster where you would send the weight all the way up to the ceiling. Let's generate that momentum from the grab. He's going to give me 14. But what Corey doesn't do, which is amazing, is he doesn't let the weights win. He goes down, shoulder blades stay retract. There is no upper body rounding. Next round, I'm going to have him turn. He's going to show you from the side. Wonderful. There it is. Nice. Corey's got those strong glutes. He's pushing through the outside of his heel to stand up tall. With a quick transition, it's down to the ground. Chest press with a leg lower. Boom. He's going to start. Weights down, legs, and then he's going to press up like he's going to one point. Good. Now, if a straight leg is just not in it for you, bend the knees a little bit. Invite a bent knee. But I'm going to ask you, keep your heels pressed together. Your first minute is down, everybody. The reason I ask you to have your heels pressed together is it creates one line from the body so you're not moving two limbs. There it is. Now, this is much more strength and endurance space. You're on your back. Your heart rate's going to drop a little bit, but I promise you, later in class, we're going to bring that right back up. We're on our strength-based interval right now. That's what Sweatbox is about, and we're going to show you that. All the way down. Quick transition, everybody. The body rows. I'm, now, because it's 14, go ahead and give me seven on each side. I'm going to row it in with my right, hug it in, let's twist, open the door, back down, boom, pull, open the door, back down. Here's the thing with those. You want to keep your hips square. Do not compensate. Wonderful. Try not to combine the two. Pull it into the chest, give it a quick pause. Twist from the belly. Twist from the low core. You do not want to be moving in your upper spine. There it is. Yes. Welcome to a little bit about mid back to thoracic twist. Yes. Similar to when we use the XT straps in class, you're opening the door from your shoulder. We're just taking that move and going backwards with it. Yes, Danny, already back to the squat to high pull. Awesome. Nice, Patty Lon. Now, you did 14. Guess what? We're on 12 now. I learned how to count by twos. That's so it. Show you again for the side. High pull. He's letting his abs and his bum squeeze at the very top. At the very apex of the squat, you're going to squeeze abs, glutes, quads, locking out, sending all that energy to the ceiling. Wonderful. Team, you are at your halfway marker. Corey's in the 85% of his heart rate. I'm loving it already. I know everybody just wants to be my demo boy. Uh, wonderful. Keep it here. Squeeze the feet together. He reaches. What Corey's doing that's amazing is he's letting his elbow just hover above the ground to lift your legs. We're not lifting from the hips. We're lifting from the abs. Exhaling, pushing your belly button down into the ground while you're getting that pec extension. Amazing. Let's see it. Wonderful. Danny, on the extended arm, keep it active. We don't want to let it go all the way out. Keep, yes, excellent. Keep shoulder blades always in. Nice positions, everybody. That rotation, that body over rotation is coming from the abs. A nice spinal move to keep everything limber. We got to remember, we still move, especially because we're at home a lot now in the front and rear planes. We're working in the lateral today. Team, you have less than two minutes. I'm going to pretend Tanny isn't just kipping aggressively. Control it. There you go. Patty Lon doing a full 180. Team, 90 seconds here. Nice, Dan. I love what I see. Keep this pace. You've got your drive. Everything. Nice. Mary, Mary, wonderful. Pull shoulder blades back. Imagine you're driving your elbows out to the side. There's someone you don't like behind you, you're like, back up. Team, you are at your 60-second marker. Corey, what number are you on? Corey's on eight. Fabulous. 
Excellent use of that kettlebell, keeping in the middle. Same thing, driving out to the side. Yes. Team, you're at your 45 seconds here. Oh, Corey, don't let those legs drop. Get them a little higher. Yes. Abs all day. I don't care what quarantine says. Beach body is not canceled. We're just going to have to, like, put up a ton of posters of – I'm going to do that. I'm going to put posters in my house. It's going to look like my college dorm room. 15 seconds, everyone. You're going to get to recover, but you need to go to the very last second, the very last rep. You get seven. You get six. It's five. It's four. Three. Two, one, and recover, 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 everybody. How you feeling back there, Corey? Nice. I'm giving you 90 seconds from right here, team. 90 seconds. How we're going to do this, it is going to be our cardio blast. Body weight, cardio blast. Imam, Imam, five rounds. Every minute on the minute, I give you three moves. You have one minute to do all three moves. If you're done in 30 seconds, you get a 30-second break. If you're done in 45 seconds, you get a 15-second break. If you're not done in the minute I give you, I'm sorry, but there is no break. First round, squat hops. You're going to load it up, big hop, land low with it. Land low, soft like ninjas. That's 10 of those. Then this one is going to be similar to a switch, but we're going to do a lateral switch. Corey is going to face one direction. He gives me a hop, boom, and turns to the other side. Try to make sure you get height in there. So it's staying low, boom, big hop, big hop. Extend up and move. If jumps are just not in it for you, rapid fire reverse lunges. Then finally, everybody, skater side to side. If not, um, it's not a Texas two-step. It's not dance along with Mickey. No. What? What? Ah. Ah. Look. Uh, sad. <laughs> From here. Oh, God. He, he watches these recordings. Shit. From here. You're going to be going, jumping to the side, catching, sending it over. Your glute meat is catching you to extend you out to the side. What Corey's going to show you real quick is floating your back leg and then not floating your back leg. Boom. He goes. Tap. Tap. Now you show him you can tap it. There you go. Excellent. Lots of different options for everybody. This is low impact. Keep it that way. Team, your imam's going to start. Squat hops in five. Squat hops in four. It's three, two, one. Let's go. Down. Load it up. Ten. So, with those squat hops, I'm going to have you load your hands up at the bottom, set them up to the ceiling. There you go. We're not rocket ships. There. Team, right? Now you're at the lateral skaters. So, Corey, don't even worry about coming up. Start here. Go straight up. Turn at the top. There you go. Turn at the top. You're trying to turn at the bottom. Fabulous. That's five on each side. Grand total, 10. There you go. See, I told you. We work at the front and rear planes, everyone. We're in laterals today. Then you're going into your lateral skaters. With those lateral switches, think twisting at the top, not the bottom. Team, you get five. You get four. We're going to reset in three, two, one. Reset, go. Hup. For a hot second, I forgot about the time. I saw Tanny wasn't doing anything. I'm like, oh, crap, she's done. Ugh. Team, first 10 seconds are down. So load it up. Good. So Corey's going to think about reaching the apex of his height first, like just a regular switch, then turning. See what happens when you put a lot of thought into it? <laughs> 30, 30 seconds. It's a push and a pull day. Maintain it. I promise this will be the only super leg heavy one we do today. Team, 15 seconds, we're going to reset. 15 seconds, we're going to reset. Excellent. Let's see what you got. You get five, you get four, you get three, 
two, one, let's go, round three. Your first 15 are down. Corey's not even hitting the red yet. Let's go. Whoa. Now remember, if that lateral jump is just not in it for you, give me regular switches. That's always an option. If the regular switches are not in it for you, give me rapid fire reverse lunges. 30 seconds down. There is an option for everyone, a progression and a regression. Then your side to sides. Ten seconds. You're going to get ready in five, in four. You got it in three, two, one. Let's go. Amazing pace. Fifteen seconds down. Now, Corey likes to take a very long and extended reverse leg. That's fine. It just makes it harder. If you want to bring the legs into more of a 90-90 to get a little more. Corey, can you do a split? Can you do a split? Okay. But <laughs> 15 seconds, everybody. 15 seconds and one more round. Told you. Emon's five. We're gonna get ready. Final round in five. In four, you get three, two, one, let's go. First down. Yeah, it's that 90 percentile. Team, 30 seconds here. You're going to get a break out of this, I absolutely promise you. Fifteen. You're at your ten. We finish together. You get six, five, four, it's three. Two, one, and recover, recover. Yes, Delevade, work. How you guys feeling? Give me a thumbs up. We sweating? I like watching all the sunbeams come in everyone's room because, like, I don't know what time of day it is right now. Fabulous. Let's move on to our second strength set. How this is going to work, we have our gliders. It's the glider atomic push-ups. So we're going to drag that out real quick. They can't see it over there. You got to pull it over. All right, everybody. So, Corey's going to be starting in his push-up position. Pushes up. He tucks it in, sends it away. Push up. Now, if a push-up is a little difficult, drop down to your knees on the push-up, then come up, tuck it in. Atomic push-ups. Now, we're going to stand up tall. You're going to get your dumbbells. We're going to be swinging it now. Shoulder blades back and extended. Corey, with a safe, like, swing, show uh, the most worst swing you can. Worst swing, the most wrong. All rounded back, everything. The arches, everything. The reason I have to do that same is showing it wrong can actually do a really bad injury. So now let's go over Evil. He's squeezing here, abs engaged. His arms are just making sure he doesn't throw the weight at me. From here, he's extending from the glute, squeezing the abs. What's driving that is going to be the glute ab a lot and holding it, keeping shoulder blades retracted, not rounding the upper back. Then finally, he's dropping down to the ground. We have our Superman. Corey, show them a regular Superman to start. Arms are extended, he reaches up, gives it a hold, drops down. That could be a W. What we're gonna do, Superman tees. Arms out to the side, good, and a T. Now he Superman's up, externally rotates, and back down. If you wanna do a combination of it, you can reach up to the side, go to the forward, bring it back to the side, 
and down. Lots of ways to do it. It's going to be 14, 12, 10, all the way down, then all the way back up. You're going to have your six minutes. It's going to start in five. Team, it's going to start in four. Atomic push-ups in three, two, one. Let's go. Atomic push-ups. Now, remember, if you have any wrist pain, you can always drop down to fists. Or you can put your um, dumbbells down. Lots of different options. Excellent. You keep it here. And we all know I have the best music. Nice. Corey's doing an awesome job at keeping the line from the back of his head all the way down to his tailbone flat. We're not popping it up. If you want to and turn the tuck into a pipe, you can go ahead and do so. We're going in a dumbbell swing after you're done, you're 14. Fabulous. He's doing a single dumbbell. You can use two if you want. Nice. Driving from the hips. Hip extension. Hip extension. Nice. Now, what Corey's also doing an awesome job of doing, he's doing great in most of the stuff with the demo. It's, it's fantastic. He's keeping his heels driven to the ground, lifting his toes up, making sure the weight is placed squarely in his posterior chain. Now, he's going into his T Superman. Boom, back down. He's lifting all the way up to bring it all the way down. Now, if you don't have a ton of room in the house, you can go to 90 90s in your arms. Corey, can you show him 90 degree bend in your arms? Good. There it is. Lots of ways to go about this. You didn't give me 14. Control. It's not a big snap motion. Take two seconds to go up, two seconds to go back down. Love what I see, team. Keep that pressure. Yeah, bring it up. He's heading right into his 12 atomic push-ups. Your first two minutes are burned through. Bop, bop, bada, bop. Team, you are at your halfway marker. Love what I see. What? What was it? What was it? Fabulous. Three minutes. Mark is coming. Gone. Nice extension. Oh, I love the use of the water jugs. Absolutely fabulous. Keep your chest up. You're always looking forward. Ba, 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 da, ba. You got it. Amazing pace. Now, with especially these swings, do not manually lift the weight. The swing is coming from the hips. If you're feeling this in your shoulders, what you're doing, that means you're doing a front shoulder raise. We don't want that. It's a disconnect. Boom. Still squeezing at the top. There you go. Kips, engage. Press, engage. You got it, team. Two minutes here. Love what I see. Now, if you have my honesty, I think the Supermans are like the hardest because it's a part of the back. We don't work out that often in that plane of motion. You're around the corner, 90 seconds here, 90 seconds here. Corey, what number are you on? 10.
amazing job. Corey still holding great form with his tucks. Sixty seconds here. We're burning through. Keeping his pace dry and dry. Get to whatever number you know you can get to. Dan, big push from the hips, not a shoulder raise. Push from the hips, good. It's almost like you want to throw the weight, but you don't throw the weight. 30 seconds here. You're at your 20, team. Keeping that pressure, keeping that pace. You're at your 10. You get seven, you get six. It's five, it's four, it's three, two, one, and recover, 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 everyone. Get some water. Oh, how are we feeling? That was a fast round. I love it. We're in our 90 seconds of recovery now. Let's go over our next move. We just hit our second endurance strength-based set. We are going into our abs now. It's going to be a combination of a one-minute cardio move, four ab moves, 30 seconds apiece, twice through in the abs. We're only going to do the tap backs or the half burpees for 60 seconds once. So Corey's going to show what a tap back is. Hands are going to go down to the ground. Boom, kick back, stand. It's a light one. Now, Corey, for those who have an impact issue, show a step back. He goes down, steps back, steps back in, jumps up. You're only going to do that for 60 seconds once. Then every move is 30 seconds apiece. You're going to give me forearms down, plank jacks. You're here for 30 seconds, plank jack position. You're then going to roll over, feet together. And I mean squeeze them together, really squeeze. V-ups, big extension, reach all the way up, bring it all the way back down. Then he's going to roll over, plant his hands, twisting mountain climbers. With these, they don't need to go fast. You can spend a little more time under tension. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Then you're going to roll over. Feet start in a, um, in a hollow body position. Straddle. He opens up. Big press. Legs through and down. Legs go out in the opposite direction. So, Corey, I'm going to have you show them to the front of the camera real quick. You're going to show off your hoo-ha. Here. <laughs> so, feet are going to start together in a hollow body. He drives it apart. Back down. But as he comes back down, he meets back in hollow body. Then we're going to do the abs twice through. We do it again. But only again. There is no lady in this place. How dare you? Mm. Welcome to Circus Abs, everybody. All right. We're going to start. I need that 60 seconds of tap backs. You don't have to do a jump, but there's definitely no push-up. Team, we get started in five, 60 seconds of tap backs in four, three, two, one, let's go. Also, there, are, there is elegance in the straddle. Elegance. There's no ladies in here. How dare he? For those of you who have known me on here for many years, <laughs> yes. Team, 30 seconds here. I want to go right into our ab set. This is where we jack our heart rates up. You're here for 20. With a seamless transition, Corey's going to go right into his plank jacks without stopping. 10 seconds here. Drop down to your forearms in six, five, four, three, two. Drop it down. Plank position, forearm jacks go. Remember, if any type of impact and issue, step out. Lowering your hips at the same level as your shoulders. 
15 seconds here. We're gonna be planting our hands, twisting mountain climbers, not for, I'm sorry, no, we're doing V-ups, V-ups, my fault, the ha. You get five, you get four, roll it over, three, two, one, roll it over, V-ups, big extensions. Now exhale every time. As you drill your belly button down to the ground, try to aim for your toes. Abs, abs, abs all day, abs. Yes. Now, that is a great, great regression. Your tuck in. Team, we're rolling over twisting mountain climbers in three, two, one. Twisting mountain climbers, go. Spend more time under tension. This is not to be rushed. Really try to meet the opposite, the opposite elbow, getting a sling going across the body midline. 15 seconds here. Ba, 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 da, ba. Love what I see, team. Got it here. We're rolling over for our straddle ups in five, four, straddles, three, two, one. Roll it over, straddles. Point your toes, point your toes. Feet come together at the bottom. Feet together at the bottom. Boom, bring feet back together. You're always meeting back in your hollow body. I can do this on a pole. <laughs> Three, two, one, roll it over. Let's hit our plank jacks, everybody. All right, Corey and I were talking about like extreme purchases we might have made during this in some kind of fit of lockdown rage. And I will let everybody now know I own a portable pole and will be teaching pole dancing. Fabulous team. You're at your 30 and 5. 4. Roll over V ups in 3, 2, 1. Roll over V up. I feel like this song's appropriate. What? I feel like this song's appropriate for it. 15 seconds here. We're gonna roll it over into our twisting mountain climbers. Core for days, core for days. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll over twisting mountain climbers. What I'm really happy about with this specific set of abs is we hit our core already. Not just in our abs, but those supermans we did earlier core is this entire part, the part that carries us throughout the day. That's your back and your abs. Oh, Team, you're rolling over straddle ups in five, straddle ups in four, three, two, one, straddle ups, go! Anytime, Corey. There you go. <laughs> Nice, Think big explosion, exhale, reach. You guys are gonna get a break in 15 seconds. You get six, you get five, four, three, two, one, and recover, recover, recover. How you abs feeling everybody? Go ahead, take a nice bridge or an up dog position. Stretch them out just a little. There was a lot of hip compression there. Let's open up the hips. Now, we're getting into our next strength set, everyone. Our next strength set. First move is going to be a dead lift row. With this, we all know, most of you have been in class here before, I am a prick when it comes to the dead row. Shoulder blades back in the gauge. Corey does this very, very well. He sends his hips back with shoulder blade retraction. Boom. Hold there, he's gonna row it into his chest, back down without a kip. With this position, no, we usually do deadlifts with barbells. You're not going down to barbell level, just underneath the knees or mid shin and row it in. As we extend the row, we don't release the scapula. Then we're gonna be going into a push up, quote unquote, break dancer. He's gonna go down to his push up position long. Push up, boom. He's gonna then bring his leg underneath 
and extend. Notice how his other leg is just hovering over the ground. That is an option and the harder one. Can you do that one more time, but instead of bringing your leg up, just leave the leg on the ground? Wonderful. He's going to give me his one push-up, brings his leg underneath, and leaves the leg on the ground, pushes his hips up to the ceiling. Wonderful. All that is is a training of the shoulder capsule and opening up in the hips. Your final move is going to be an Arnold press. Imagine you are in a big glass cylinder and you can't touch the side. You're to hold your weight. You're to have the weight or your palm facing you. Now, like a corkscrew, extend it straight up, then right back down. Right back up, right back down, holding your abs in. Avoid elbows going out. We want to be in as middle of the blend as possible. Team, 14, 12, 10. We're going all the way down and all the way back up. You guys ready for this strength set? I'm ready to watch you do this strength set. Team, you get seven, six, deadlift row in five, four, three, two, one. Dead rows, everyone. Yes. Keeping feet at hip width. Having a nice bent knee. You're standing up through the heels, rowing it in. At no point do we release the scapula. Let the upper back round. Good. Now, but anytime you feel it here in the low back, what I ask you to do, one, take a quick break. Two, invite a bigger bend in the knees and imagine a rope pulling you backwards. You're driving through the heels. Similar to squat, you don't want the weight in the toes. Babu, babu. If you have to choose something in this to drop, just drop the row. Give me a deadlift. Team, you're rounding the corner to your first minute. Then you're going into your push-up break dancer. If the break dancer part is just not in for you, give me a leaning push-up. Either or works for me. I'm just happy that you're moving. Ba, 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 ba. Excellent. Shoot. Now, what is important about the break dancer portion of this, and Corey executes it very well, is as he goes through the break dancing, he's still pushing away with the um, extended arm. Nothing in the shoulder is deactivated. We're twisting through our arm, opening up through the shoulder girdle. Excellent. He dropped down to his knees. That's even better. He's finding more stability. I want to just see you keep moving. That's all. If he's got to take a break, take a break. But if you can drop down to regress it to keep moving, that's even better. We had a lot of lateral motions today, a lot of midline crosses. Then finally, you're going into your Arnold press. Tanny, keep elbows in. I want elbows to stay in front of you. Go straight up, rotate like a corkscrew, back down. Very good. I know every one of us here enjoys a bottle of wine once in a while. Think about the corkscrew. It's going to screw in a circle. That's what you want to do with the weight. Circle them up, back down. Elbows stay in the frontal plane. Wonderful. Everybody looking so fantastic. Now, what Corey did, drop down to a kneeling position, goes right into the hip. That is an amazing regression, everybody. And to me, it's not even a regression. All you're doing, finding a little more stability. Good. Now, as you reach all the way up, I want you to really brace with your abs. Try not to arch into the low back. Team, you're at your halfway marker. Your halfway marker. Bop, 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 bop. You guys are looking great. Good form. That's what I want to see. Now, if you start to feel something in the form giving out, 
This is not about pushing through that. It's about putting it down, taking 10 seconds, recoup, and go back to good form. Quality over quantity is what wins here. Team, you're coming up to your last two minutes. Two minutes here. Bop, bop, bop. Press it down into the ground. Pull it into the chest. Now, if there's anybody at home that can't hear the music we're playing, I'm jamming out. That's really the most important. There you go. You're pushing through, opening up through the shoulder. Tanny, lock out those arms, girl. Nice, Dan. That's what I want to see. Rock stars, everyone, 90 seconds. Excellent, Delavane. Sixty seconds here. Nice. If you're taking a kneeling position, I ask you that you make sure your back toe is tucked. Protect your patella. You're welcome. 30 seconds here, team. 30 seconds. Yeah, it's those deadlift rows, everyone. Look, he's so fantastic. I love it. Team, you're around the corner. 20 seconds here. 20 seconds here. You're going to recover in 10 seconds. 10 seconds here. You get six. You get five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Recover, everyone. Yes! All right. Your final move of class. We did two. I'm sorry, we did one, two. Yeah, three strength-based intervals. We did a cardio interval and a cardio ab interval. Now, we're going to take the entire workout. I'm going to combine it into one finishing set. You're going to be here for about five minutes. How is this going to work out? Your first move, each one's 30 seconds a piece. Get your gliders ready. We're going to have army crawls. Your army crawls are going to be on your forearms, on your forearms. Corey's going to load it down. All you're going to do, take three or four crawls forward, three or four crawls back. It's a seesaw motion in your abs. So he walks it forward. Now, braces his abs, pushes it back. I promise you, going backwards, you're gonna to wanna to pike your hips up, stay low. Now, we did Arnold presses just now. That means it cooked your shoulders. We have thrusters now, all the way down, big explosion. The reason I put the thrusters here is that has to come from your hips. You can't lift with your shoulders now. You're gonna generate momentum from the floor like you wanna throw the weight through the ceiling. It is not a squat and a shoulder press. We cooked that out, boom. Now we're gonna drop the weights down. Bear crawls. Take your beast position, everybody. Excellent. Corey's going to go beast. Bear crawls. Bop, 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 bop. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Butt stays low. Imagine you're holding last china right on your butt, and you don't want it to drop. I don't know in what world that would be doing. We could probably Kim Kardashian it. Then finally, everybody, you're going into a dumbbell snatch. I'm staying low, shoulder blades up. You're always looking at the camera. Down, big explosion. There is not a shoulder press in this. You're driving it up through the midline. Boom, extend it to the top. Wonderful. Corey likes to put his hand behind his back. I have an issue with hip flexion, so I put my hand right here. Down, big explosion. You can alternate arms anytime you want. Oh, I forgot about the final move, and I'm saving that to the end. Regardless of where you are, I will call it. You will give me the fastest belly down burpees of your life. I will hide that. When I will, I will give you a countdown and you are ready to go. All right, everybody. It's your finishing set, everyone. I love you to death. You have seven, 
team. You're going to start with your glider army crawls in five. We do this all together in four. It's your start of your day. Three, two, whenever Corey wants to go. One, go. Now, if you don't have anything to slide on anybody, you can give me a plank position and rock back and forth on the toes like a seesaw without lifting your hips up, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> One thing we, I like all the instructors have noticed, we start trying, we, we really go into moves thinking we're being creative. Team three, two, thrusters, go. We go into moves being creative and we're like, wow, this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I can do that in a handstand challenge, but I can, I, it, I can do it in the middle of the room and take my pants off. Just let everyone know that. I, I didn't say I was. Clay plays. All right, everyone, you got bear cross. Three, two, one, go. I'm talented. I don't see a movie with Hugh Jackman and you in it. Wonderful. Corey is staying low in his bear cross. Fan. Fantastic. You're challenging your quads, your shoulders, your abs. Team, we're getting up for our snatches in five, four, three, two, snatches. Go. Fabulous. If you have to, hold your bear. Boom. I have a dog named Bear. Yay. This is such a pride mix. <laughs> Fabulous. We're going to do this again. You're going to meet me at your glider army crawls in five, in four, glider crawls, three, two, one, glider army crawls. Fifteen seconds here. Quick transitions are key. You're going into your thrusters in ten. You get seven. You get six. Thrusters five, four, three, two, one. Thrusters. Let's go. I have. I have. Oh, so you're. Are you Ursula or the Little Mermaid? Okay. <laughs> I have no response. <laughs> You're going to meet me down for those bear crawls in six. You get five. It's four. Your bear crawls in three, two, one. Drop down bear crawls or hold your bear plank, your beast plank, either or. But I want to see a little motion if you can. Yeah, we had to pass that for our animal flow. 10 seconds here. Team, you're bringing it up for snatches in four, three, two, and one. Snatches go, snatches go. Quick transitions. Team, we're doing it one more time. Three rounds. Ten seconds here. Meet me for your army cross. Six, five, four. It's three, two, one. Army cross. You got it. Last round for this set. Last round. Don't roll your eyes at me. Got to get the workout that paid for. Boom. Team, in 10, you got your thrusters. You get seven. You get six. Thrusters five. Thrusters four. It's three, two, one. Thrusters go. Boom.
Wonderful. You got that pace. Your thrusters are going down into your beast push. Oh, sorry, your beast position. I was thinking about that. You get five. You get four. Three, two, bear crawls. Let's go. I know. I know it burns. You're going to be so much stronger when you're done. You're going to get up for snatches in 15 seconds. 15 seconds. You know, I think I've been leaving something out. We'll do it after our snatches in six. Snatches five. Snatches four. It's three, two, one. Let's see the snatches. Go! Round in the corner. It's that time. On my call, you give me 30 seconds of the most powerful, fastest, lightest, belly down burpees you've given anyone before. 10 seconds. This is where your peak heart rate hits. Your day starts after this. In five, in four, burpees, three, two, one, drop and go. 30 seconds till the end, 30 seconds till the end. Fifteen seconds. Team, you're at your ten. Team, you're at your nine. Seven, six, five. It's four. You get three, two, one, and recover. Hi, Miss Ma'am. Take a breather, everyone. We did a lot of hip compression. Let's take a reverse lunge and drop the knee all the way down to the ground. Excellent. Corey's gonna take his hands, place them on his front knee and lean into it, add a little press. Babu, let's chill out there. Taking one arm up, leaning over towards the bent leg. Get a stretch in your hips. You're so as. Bringing hands down to the ground, he pushes his knee away. Yeah. So hand down, and then you push, kind of like look away. Babu. Isn't that special? Now extend the leg out, hamstrings. These are always very basic stretches. I encourage you to always stretch on your own. Let's go down and switch sides. Wonderful. Go ahead, press it down, or bring your arm up, reach over. Now, if anyone's free, it's 7.30 at night. I'll be doing a free mobility and flexibility class. Just shoot me a message. I'll put it on there. There's my shameless plug. Excellent. Hands down, we push the knee away. Wonderful. Extend through the hamstring. Wonderful. Shake it off. Stand up tall, everyone. Shake up that upper body. Shake, shake, shake. Awesome job today, everyone. Give yourselves an amazing round of applause. Thank you so much, Corey, for going through all the demo work. It is not easy being that demo person. Go ahead. You know the rules. Post everywhere online. Share, share, share. You guys are creating the community. You guys are what drives this. If you're in for mobility tonight, just shoot me a message. It's at 730. Go ahead, check out the two weeks, all that fun jive. I will see you guys all later. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye, everyone.